One of the most breathtaking sections of the Columbia River is the Columbia River Gorge National Scenic Area between the Bonneville Locks and beyond the Dales, with expansive views of canyons, tree-lined mountains, waterfalls, and historic bridges. But getting there requires navigating one or more locks, which can be intimidating to new and even experienced boaters. In this video, we'll demonstrate how easy locking through can be, with clear step-by-step -step instructions to ensure a successful journey. By navigating a series of locks, you can travel east all the way to Idaho on the Columbia and Snake Rivers. Starting at the Bonneville Dam east of Portland, each set of locks increases the elevation of the water from 8 feet mean sea level all the way to over 700 feet by the time you reach Lewiston, Idaho. This video will focus on the first set of locks, known as the Bonneville Locks. Find information about the locks online at the link above for maps, instructions on locking, lock schedules, and interesting facts about the dam and the lock. Bonneville Dam is a few hours east, so we first made sure our tanks were full and we have the relevant charts for these sections of the river. Some experienced boaters are able to navigate the locks completely on their own, but we wanted to ensure we had a minimum of three people, including the pilot, to successfully tie down to the mooring bits in the lock. It is important to have fenders and adequate ropes for the two spring lines, and to be confident with relevant knots to quickly adjust both. Locking through instructions indicate you should contact the lock operator 30 minutes prior to arrival, so we consult the charts to determine the appropriate place. You can see on the charts the Bonneville Dam is located at mile marker 145, and we had planned to cruise at about 20 knots, which meant we'd want to establish first contact within 10 miles, or mile marker 135, which was after Sand Island just before Multnomah Falls. One thing to note as you're calculating your location is that as you approach the dam, the lock operator may warn you of a push, which means the currents are high from the water being released from the dam and that may slow you down significantly. To establish first contact with the lock operator, you can call them on the phone or the VHF radio on channel 14. To contact the operator, simply tune to channel 14 and verify the channel is clear and say, WUJ33 Bonneville Lock, this is Sundance. I am approaching the lock eastbound and expect to arrive in 30 minutes to lock through. You should tell them the type of boat you are driving, such as a powerboat or sailboat, and the total length. And of course replace the Sundance with your boat's name. As you approach the locks, watch for turning points as shown on the charts, which the lock operator might describe as a large round concrete tank. This is the point to turn right towards the lock, and it is important to turn here instead of left towards the dam and its dangerous currents. At this point, you can make radio contact with the lock operator again and follow their instructions, including when to enter the lock, which side, and mooring bit to use for your craft. Tell the lock operator your preferred side to tie down, but be prepared to change sides if necessary. Your bow must always be forward in the lock. The operator may instruct you to enter the locks, but also pay attention to the traffic lights that indicate it is safe to enter. Take two spring lines, one tied to the bow and one from the stern, and bring them to the center of the boat. Each rope should then be wrapped around the mooring bit with a single turn. The ropes should then be held by rope handlers on your boat. For your crew's safety, it's important that the ropes not be tied to the boat. This is because the bit is designed to raise and lower with the water level. But if for some reason it gets stuck, your boat could be pulled underwater if you can't quickly release the ropes. Continue to hold the ropes as the water level changes until the gates open and the operator instructs you to leave. After the water level reaches the proper level, the gates will open and there will be some indication that it is okay to leave which should be slowly and orderly. The most important thing to do is watch and listen for instructions for a safe exit. 